All right, let's rip this open. And we've got Oh god. It's so sticky. 3M double stick tape pasta. It's a uh, 3M 1 inch by I think this is 15 feet of it. Or maybe it was 6 feet. I forget. No, it's got to be 15 feet of it still. Anyway, this shit is expensive and the reason I had to buy it is because this stuff only lasts for like seven, eight years. You could sit, keep it in storage. And I have a roll of this stuff, literally this size. And I used it last time to double stick. Hold on, wait. It's very sticky on the edges. So you probably want to keep it in that bag, but I put it here. That's where I put my network uh, hub. And you can see the wire hasn't been tough. But there's a reason I've got a tripod holding it. It's because I use this tape, or the uh, original roll I had, to try and mount it under the granite, because it's just granite there. So I, I double stuck it to itself, and then I had to make it thicker, and then I pushed it up, and I held it there for like 30 seconds, and let go, and it was fine for like two weeks, or 10 days. And then it fell on the floor. And this is, this is 3M gray outside HVB, VHB. This is what they stick like the logo on your car, like where it says Ford. This is the shit they just tape it to your car with. So 100 miles an hour, car washes, sun, cold, snow. This shit never comes off. So what if I just push it under my countertop and it just, that little like four ounce thing falls down? The tape's gone bad. The tape only is active for a certain number of years before it'll be like, nope. So I'm gonna put this right back into its Ziploc bag. Ugh. And I'll take the other tape and I'll bring it to the garage and I'll use it for like non-essential shit or temporary. A lot of times my friend will literally use it for temporary stuff. Like he'll double stick tape, we'll glue something in place and we'll drill through it. Like just to get it to stay, cause it'll hold real hard for a bit. And then you just put actual fasteners through it. So just a note, if you use this sort of tape, uh, it will not work for 10 years. Uh, buy another one. So that's it. And I had the tripod there because I'm still using the old tape. This hadn't shown up yet. So I put the old tape back up and now I've got the tripod wedging it against here. So it's been holding it for like a day. So tomorrow maybe I'll take the tripod away and then it might stay for a year or two. Cat on her cardboard. Crad bird. Crad bird. Anyway, one package, one little tiny package off to my doorstep. What could it possibly be? It's a uh, everyday health and beauty experience shampoo brush. I'm just gonna double check the uh, name on this. It is indeed for me. Please stop sending me weird things. Weird things, oh God. I guess that works for three fingers. It's a three finger, it's a three finger guy. Pretty sure I see this in nightmares. Can I use this on my cat though? Hair and scalp massager. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Pasta, link the EU Ohm shampoo brush hair scalp massager. What is this woman doing? Scrape from top head and downward to hair tail. Please don't scrape the scalp in circle. Wow, they probably should have done that in English. Uh, to open, turn the top right. No need to, no need to turn the lower side. To lock it. What? Oh, wait. What is that for? I'm just put something in here. The fuck? Why would this ever come apart? There's no hole. You can like fill it with soap. I mean, you probably could fill it with soap. Is that where you hide the drugs? What, what the fuck is the purpose of this? This is where it is. This is where the secret code is hidden. In the, in the hairbrush. Just, just, just twist the hairbrush. Oh, uh, can I change them? I change to change the colors. So now I have a purple one 
with a pink. Oh yeah. I don't get it. I don't get why you'd need to be able to take that apart. But it literally has like a lock and unlock procedure. It's fucking weird. Yeah, scrape from top of head and downward to hair tail. Please don't scrape. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell what day it is? So this just arrived. Oh God. Oh God. Get out. Oh, the X5. Pasta. I believe you have to link to Shenzhen Audio for this. Um, yeah, it's further away. Because I don't think this is available anywhere but Shenzhen Audio. Why do they make the foam big enough to fit? Like, I guess it doesn't matter. Or maybe the box, maybe, maybe make the box smaller. Seems like you got, I mean, you know what they're using the same box they use for everything else. So the topping EX5 is a DAC and headphone amplifier that may be exclusive. USB cable. Yeah, it's normal. Quarter inch adapter, Wi-Fi antenna or Bluetooth antenna, standard topping remote, power plug. Ooh, it's in the top, the Pro, the, the D30, A30 Pro box. And it's got an MQA status indicator. Oh, yep, topping and Shenzhen audio. This is a specifically Shenzhen product. Interesting. So we've got bounced out, quarter inch out, screen. Different knob than on the other toppings. The cute little power switch. You got optical, you got USB, you got your Bluetooth antenna, which I will plug in. Now we've got, uh, I'm assuming those are outputs for balance. Ooh, we got little soft rubber caps to cover everything. I approve. I hate when they're hard. So you got XLR and RCA outputs. Interesting. So this is a this is a full combo. You don't see many full combos from topping anymore. Like full, it's a DAC and an amp, and it has outputs. So this might be a. I mean, if it sounds anything like the D thirty A thirty combo, or like the the actual stack, then it's probably gonna be a winner. So. I'll just hook it up to some of my free XLRs. And I don't mean free like I didn't pay for them. I mean free like they're free to be plugged in. There we go. You know what the worst part about all these cables is? I've got to figure out a way to label every one of them left and right. Oh. oh. It's a repeat pass. You've linked this before. But I was so good I bought a second one. This is the Monoprice Hospital Grade IEC power cable. So if you look up hospital, you'll find it in the uh, things I've purchased. And I, I bought the first, I bought black and gray because they say black and gray on Amazon. So Amazon has this monoprice cable. And the black one's just like normal. It's got the nicer like pull plug, but it's normal. This gray one, this gray one is not normal. This is Abbey normal. This thing is a monster. And I understand what hospital grade means is because if there's live oxygen feeds into a room, you can't like fuck up. That's why the plugs are clear so you could see if there's any corrosion from air. And look at the size of this like puller. And it comes rolled up. Chewbacca, it fucking comes rolled up. Look at the, look, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Just, just. And it's 15 feet because I have a lot of equipment that I need to plug in and I don't have plugs near me, so this is perfect. Chuck, what do you thought about this 15 foot cable? Oh, look how nice that is. It's got the green plug. For whatever reason, it's showing a green plug. And just plug this in. Plug this in my cat's ass. Chewbacca, bend over. Oh, just scratchy rub rubs. Scratch. She loves getting scratched by anything. Especially hospital grade 15 foot IEC gray cables. I mean, the fact it's gray, you may have to get over it, but fuck, it looks like a hospital bed cable. So oh, see us, when are you going to unbox more food? Well, I went to a uh, local barbecue place and apparently a half a rack of spare ribs is $20. And the potato, because they make potatoes, is with everything is like $14. So then they said like $36 was my total for lunch. I'm like, what? But I have to try the local spare ribs. This is the first time I'm seeing them. Okay, they look, 
They're not covered in sauce. They have the sauce off. Interesting choice there. And here is, holy fuck. I went there just for this. Because they apparently do a baked potato every day differently. And holy fuck. That's so much potato. The potato's huge and it's just, it was beans and macaroni and cheese. And they asked me what type of sauce and I'm like the Carolina sauce, obviously. So I'm gonna go with the big, big forks. I'll try all this on camera, I guess. It's got pulled pork on it. Like, look at this potato, look at this, there's a potato here, look. Potato, see that's potato. What's in the bottom of this? So we got pulled pork and coleslaw and beans. I thought there was mac and cheese in there too, huh? Oh my God. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like mucking, like Chipotle. Like Chipotle, Chipotle, like the store. I'm just gonna ruin that. All right, let's see what these ribs do. Because they're $20, so it's fucking half rack. This better be fucking my erection. I better have to call a doctor in four to six hours because it won't go away. Nice and soft, good pink color. Pink's a good color for ribs. Oh, fuck. This was my fear. My fear was I lived within like six miles of a fucking good barbecue place. I mean, it's expensive, so I can't have it all the time. But like that, that's absurd. That should feed three people. And that's me talking. But these, my word. I get why they raise their price now. Okay, so. <clears throat> Enough of this. I'm gonna sign off and um Wow. Wow. How the fuck am I supposed to I guess I but <sighs> thank you. This is the first unboxing I'm gonna do in the sink. Move that out of the way. Because I got this out of my mailbox and I thought I took care of them. I, I put down the poison, but apparently they're back. The fucking ants living in my mailbox. So I pull out my mail and I'm like, my hand is now covered in black dots. Just, just, I'm like, so I beat it off. I shook it off. And then I had it in the car and then I took it out of the car like an hour and a half later and still had ants. So I put it in the sink because it had to like, I don't see any ants, but I'm gonna open up in here anyway. This is a Dakoni package. Open up. Why, is that an ant? That's a squished ant, oh God. Oh, there's an ant, he's alive. Oh fuck. Oh God, there's, there's literally ants in my box. Ants in my pants, Johnson. Are they crawling into my skin? There's so many in my box. Are that squished ants? All right, yeah, I'm gonna just, thank you Dakoni for sending me a cable. I don't know they made it into the Dakoni box. Put that on a white thing. This looks fine. This is their new cables. This is for the um, HG800. So they got a balance cable for the HG800. I'm just going to take this, I have to go. Hold on a second everybody. Oh, he's on the outside of the box. Get away. Go away. Go away. Ah. Anyway, I'll tell that. that's how you deal with that. You put it in the sink. Apparently, they just decided to live in there. Could have been there for more than a day and a half, but it was just, that's enough. So let's squeeze this. Dakoni has interesting wires. Like, this is too tight. I, I don't even use these, like, slide things. This is very tight on this. Wires are super thick and nice. So we got that. We got how many weave? Eight. Looks like an eight weave. Oof. Of like a, it's almost like a tacky vinyl. Nice and sh All right, I have one problem with this. This is too fucking short. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're going like absolute minimum, this is very much mobile length. So if I ever have a full four pin XLR on a portable device, and I want to take HG800s around, 
i'm good to go.